Okay, here are the parts to my biochar generator. Just a piece of uh, metal stove pipe cut with a door in it and holes in the sides to insert some carrying rods like that. I have two of those. And then my retort is right here. It has a copper bottom. It's a piece of four inch sewer pipe, got cast iron, and here's the top. Top that's on, and this bale holds the top on tight. You see I have it loaded up with pieces of wood. And this is the lid with the adjustable holes that will go on top when I'm ready to light the machine. So here's the retort loaded with the bale to hold the top on tight. And you can see in the copper bottom I've drilled four 3 16 inch holes. This will allow the volatile gases that are coming off the wood supply to vent out through the bottom. Okay, the general idea behind the biochar device is the wood that's sealed up in the retort will heat up without oxygen and after a certain amount of time it will off-gas some of the volatiles and they will shoot out holes in the bottom of the retort and add combustible gases to the fire that I am providing. You can see now the retort is loaded inside the biochar device and I'll build a fire now. Okay, I got the fire going, uh, lit on, vent holes open, a little bit smoky, I'm burning some softwood chunks, uh, a couple pieces of hardwood, there's a good close-up look inside the firebox. I can see the bottom of the retort, but it's not off-gassing yet. There are no jets of hot vapors shooting downward at the fire. Stay tuned. Start eight. 52.2.2. I'm looking underneath and uh, there's some kind of black liquid um, dripping out of one of the holes in the bottom of the retort. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll give the camera a best shot here. I don't think it's off gassing yet, but the wood inside the retort must be getting hot. Um, there's definitely coming out of all four holes are molten blobs of looks like tar um, dripping down. I hope the blobs don't clog the holes of the retort. I don't yet see any uh, vapors rushing out, but we'll see. Well, I've been out here about a half an hour um, staring into the belly of the beast trying to see if I can detect off-gassing. Um, I guess I don't have enough experience to know when it's done. Theoretically, the carbon that's in the wood inside the retort won't burn up if there's no oxygen. So maybe if I let it go too long, it's not necessarily bad. I'll get back to you. Okay, time to take the retort out. Take the lid off. Grab the retort. And put it here. So no air can get in the bottom. Want to make sure it's uh, anaerobic situation. Pack a little dirt around the edge. Like that. And we'll let her cool. Here we are at the indoor facility of Biochar International <laughs> and uh, the, the retort has cooled off. We're going to remove the bale. And the exciting part is to see how much charcoal we had. I started out with 355 grams of raw wood 
and there should be a 30% uh, salvage rate. Oh, bummer, dude. It is not charcoal yet. It's just been carbonized on the surface. I guess I did not have the system cranked up to its full potential. All right, well, that's it live from CNN. We'll uh, be in touch later. Star date, 52.23.6. Well, you know from last night my experiment seemed to be a failure. So I put the retort in my wood stove, which had a hot bed of coals, and left it overnight. And this morning, I emptied it out, and guess what I found? Beautiful charcoal. 300 grams had been converted into 100 grams of charcoal, which is a pretty good conversion rate. So, on to the next design.